Merry Christmas and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Wanye Reese. This morning, some people in downtown Macon kicked off their day at the 25th Anita Ponder Christmas and Friends Feast. Art Taylor Hicks was actually there at the event and she spoke to organizers about some of the challenges they faced this year because of the coronavirus pandemic. As you guys can hear, COVID-19 did not dampen the holiday spirit for the annual Anita Ponder's Christmas Feast. I spoke with people about what changes were made this year and why this event is so important. This Christmas marks the 25th Anita Ponder Family and Friends Christmas Feast. Many people came out to dance, eat, and enjoy Christmas together. This is a, a wonderful blessing. Tangela McLeod has lived in Macon for 14 years. She says she was happy to start Christmas Day at this event. I think that uh, there's a blessing that these people took their hard earning to come out here to bless the people on the streets and everything. Sandra Bryant is the coordinator of this event. So what we do each year uh, is we set up an event, we provide clothing, we provide toys for the kids, and of course we give them a wholesome meal. She says this year they had to make some changes because of the pandemic. We usually do it at the terminal station, but this year we're having to go by guidelines because of COVID, and we're doing it outside and we still have toys, clothes, shoes. Originally, Bryant was considering canceling this event because they lost donors due to the pandemic. She says many organizations in the community are the reason that this Christmas was possible. Me and my working partner was walking one day and she said, well, you're not going to do it. I said, well, no, we, we, we're not going to be able to do it. She said, it's a bad time to not help people. Bryant says she's glad she went through withholding the event because of the benefit that it had on the community. Just, I'm just full. And over 1,500 plates were made to give out to the community. In Macon, Taylor Hicks, 13 WMAZ News. I'm so happy they were to, able to continue that tradition. And Bryant wants to thank everyone who was involved. She says that she is beyond grateful.